Hello, it's Dr. Rhonda Johnson. Today is Saturday, April 23rd, 2022. And today I'm talking about American life expectancy, which has been reduced due to COVID-19. Now, COVID-19 has caused a huge mortality increase in the United States. It is now the third leading cause of death in the United States, followed by heart disease and cancer. The number of deaths from COVID in the United States is staggering, currently at 990,000. With a disproportionate number of these deaths occurring among Black and Latino populations, although white people have experienced the highest number of deaths from COVID. Now, I don't like talking about deaths truthfully, and I've said before that race is a social construct created by society Truth be told, we're all one race, the human race, but this is how the statistics are generated, so I'm going to share them. Now, what is life expectancy, folks? It's frequently used as a measure of population health, and nations compare life expectancy as a measure of their overall health. In its simplest form, the term life expectancy refers to the number of years a person can expect to live. Now, it is a statistical term, and very few people will die at precisely the age indicated by life expectancy, even if mortality patterns stay constant. So what I'm reporting today in this two-part series looks at two-year intervals from 2018 to 2020 and from 2019 to 2021. And the most recent data come from a preprint publication published earlier this month in the preprint server MedRxiv. So life expectancy in the United States in 2020 saw the largest drop, folks, since World War Two, with the greatest drop for blacks and Latinos. The breakdown again is racialized and I'm reporting the data as it is. In 2020, white Americans lost 1.36 years, black Americans lost 3.25 years, and Hispanic Americans lost 3.88 years. Now, life expectancy in the United States last year in 2021 continued to drop with a net loss of 2.26 years overall. Now, I'm going to continue this in part two of my talk today.